friends today we are going to see part 2 unit 2 b the boy who borrow let us see what happens in the part 2 good gracious thought benny in alarm why it's the books talking would you believe it the door pushed open books came out pushing and he got to get down the stairs they walked over benny stores and didn't seem to notice him at all he was too frightened to stop them or even say a word they trembled helter skelter down the stairs they went into the little room of the hall and found the open window when there was a silence benny went back to bed trembling and he didn't like it at all he fell asleep and when he woke up in the morning he laughed oh mother he said at breakfast time i had such a funny dream at last night i dreamt that all my books were walking downstairs and ran away well well what a dream to have said mother but do you think when benny get to school his school books that morning he found his bookshelves quite empty except for his own eight books all the others had gone benny sat down because his legs felt weak so it hadn't been a dream it was real it had happened those books said he borrowed had gone off in temper and left him they would all be back to their right owners now penny was so frightened that he didn't know what to do then he caught sight of eric's ball lucy's pen suppose they did the same thing do why they might even do it in bored day night and then how ashamed he would be hmm penny went very red he collected eric's ball lucy's pen kenny jigsaw and ellen's wrapper he found them some other things he had borrowed and put them into his school bag he handed them back to the other children i am sorry i kept it so long he said it in a small voice you can see him returning the ball that we thought you will keep it for yourself said the other children the benny said that would be have been stealing really said eric oh benny thank you for sending back my book the boy next door said mary i found it in my book case this morning benny started at her good gracious so her book had managed to find its way why to that empty place in mary's bookshelf the others told him that their books were back too i shouldn't borrow again unless i give back very quickly thought benny i wouldn't like this to happen to me again i wouldn't like it either if i borrowed and didn't give back he asked us would you thank you friends if you like this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos bye friends